offline. There we go. Then it should be showing up soonishly. Yeah, good. Alrighty. Yeah, I have no idea what we are actually. Well, I remember approximately what we at least got done here, but it's been a while, so wow. Four problems four percent of the problems solved. Three percent of the relics found. Uh <laughs> 29% of the ship has encountered this relatively many though, at least. And cities visited. Okay. Let's just start then. It's been a hundred years totally. So hello everyone, and welcome back to the long journey home. It's been a while since we actually played this, so be prepared for my poor performance and probably dying and everything, so that's very likely. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, uh, where we are traveling here, never going to be comfortable with those entropy things, sure, let's see. So, at the moment, where are we? If we look into the map, we are in here, I guess. I guess we're here, that's what it means, right? Are we in that place? I assume so, it's circled like that, so it has to be. So, the options that we have is basically that either we could travel into here, where we could then travel into this star system, or we got the upgrade or the thing that would allow us to try to go and visit in this... Uh, the planet here that I tried to visit in, and then maybe continue from here here into this direction so i guess the question is more so would you guys like to go into the emperor nebula or into orion molecular molecular but anyways this would seem like it would take us way further but we are quite kind of a far away here in the star system so we have to really go <sighs> through quite a bit to be able to get back all the way freaking here because we had a quest that we had to bring back into this place so that's kind of the annoying thing but so, either to Orion or into here, visit the one planet that I was planning to visit again because I didn't manage to do it last time around and then go into this Emperor Nebula or in this direction, one or the other. Of course, I hope you have more a handle on things than what I remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, got some snacks and something to drink. Good, time that good. <sighs> okay, tap to the ship. Do say your opinions. I did at least fix some more stuff. I got the one mission done. So that's at least good. Sure, a lot of stuff is kind of broken and all. I got at least some fuel converter, uh, EM refinery. Mm, okay, this is actually EM, so we could actually refill it pretty nicely. Uh, ship repair, bench lander pay. I could be repairing some of this stuff. This kind of platinum does repair a lot at once for sure. Hmm. Everyone is decently doing. You have nausea, you have migraine, you have uh, metastasis, and you have fever. But otherwise, we're all good. So it's it's no problem, right? Then in the lab, what did we have? We have a temp. Oh yeah, I bought this personal shield. Temporary protection against threats like heat, cold, and radiation. So we can actually explore that one place in a very hot area. So I bought that. So we could try to go into that one planet that was way too hot the last time for us to explore. Uh, located on a planet not in space. Gate coordinates, yes. Then just some plants. Tree Meaver that I still haven't used. So it's laptop. Harmonic major hull repair. I wonder how major it is because we could be repairing our hull a little bit with this I'm a mathematician. I don't use my hands for that Sure, I think you can repair the ship with this I repaired some dinosaur ships hull. Ships hull integrity is now 88% so that is a lot better nonetheless And then there's of course the white pill. Someone else has tried this first right? No Kill our cure. I'll take those odds. Human medicine, alien medicine, just give me the trucks. Everyone would want to be able to cure themselves, but no time for that yet. Uh, okay, let's see. 
I thought you had the nose out the lip line. Oh no, I just realized what I said. I didn't mean you don't have handle on things. Oh no, I should stop talking. <laughs> it's way too late for me to go out and buy something I want a snack to. God damn it. Aw. What a shame, Flame Ruchi. I try and enjoy a little things. Mm, you're a crafty guy. I'll think of something in Flame Ruchi. Mm, any idea how strong the personal shield is? It should work for the hot area. I visited the one hot planet just shortly, but I wasn't able to go more into there because it was too hot. But that should be able to allow us to actually go and explore that place. So because of that, I am tempted to go into that direction because it's kind of like, well, we just got this damnable thing that we could actually now have. So so maybe we should try to go and work our way into that direction. So, uh, okay, not this thing. Close map from here. Okay, do I... is What kind of a star was in here? It's, I guess it's these and I can try to go and get some fuel from there. I guess. Some. Just be a little bit careful with this. With radiation specifically. But we don't have fuel full EM reserves yet, so it would be nice to have a little bit more. Not sure how much I actually got there. I didn't pay attention enough. This at least gives in a good radiation area, but I think we had enough now. No, that's the wrong thing to do. Okay. Let's see if we can just leave, please, before having to crash land into a freaking planet. Fine, fine. Crash land into a planet, that's fine. Totally what I ex wanted to do. Did I manage to leave or am I going into that stupid place now? Yeah, I'm going into this stupid place. I don't want to come into here. <laughs> I don't know actually what's in here even. Uh, let's try to hail, I guess. Oh, greatest customers. I think I was here before, wasn't I? Anyways, I didn't want to be here. I wanted to just be able to freaking leave from this place, you know? Leave from this star system. So this is a good start for us actually getting out of this place. Okay. Now get out of here. Nothing is coming in front of us. <laughs> Finally. Uh, anyhow, the... Uh, not crafty enough, it seems. I'll prepare better for the next stream. Enjoy your snack. <laughs> well, next stream then. Next stream. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go into Tomasa, but it's kind of... Oh, I can't from there get still into Hint. So I guess it would work. It's not like I can get anywhere more into there, so I guess I'll go to Tomaso for now. At least it's a different place where we haven't been yet at. <sighs> This place doesn't seem to have a lot of stuff. White Dwarf. I gotta assume that's probably a little bit... That's actually the fuel that I needed to look into anyways. Not sure if I could try to get some more... Uh, EM fuel from here. Would lo be lovely to get some, though. Not sure how bad of a radiation is in the White Star, though. How close do I need to get? It's pretty bit bad. I can get some. That seemed to be working pretty decently. I can just go ahead and go full circle again because I can just grab some more later. So it sounds I guess it works pretty okay. This is a little bit of a... Oh, not quite work. Ah, got some fever. Okay, now I gotta get out of here though. It's too much. I got almost full fuel though, so it kind of would be nice to get some more. Just so that we have exactly enough for two trips. Because I don't think in the next place we want to stay any longer than we have to. So that's basically the reason. I also have to be worrying about the fuel situation for sure. Okay, I think I have at least enough fuel. I'm not sure if this would be a good place to go into. I'm kind of worried about our fuel too. Ah, I guess I should just then leave. If I'm worried about all of those things, sure. Let's just get out of here. Get a move on. Unless I got some... 
I hate it when you so to speak go a little bit too far and then it's like, nope, can't go that far, by the way. I just wanted to get out of here with this, but it takes a while when it recharges enough, so... To actually be able to travel. Um... In desperate lack of snacks, rye bread with honey can save a dark day. Interesting. What do they really go together with? Uh, they do go together surprisingly well, so they don't know too. So yeah, from here we would otherwise be able to travel easily. But yeah, let's go just to the hind and I think from there we'll just try to re really quickly, immediately travel forward. Because I don't remember if hind was the black hole, but one of these places once and uh, another one was otherwise just had an enemy possibility, so I don't want to stay here any longer than what I have to, uh, for a few reasons. One is, of course, our fuel situation is really bad. I think this was actually the black hole, so uh, that's bad. I don't want to go into the black hole, but I would have to travel immediately if I go there. Well, I do have some EM resources that I can just immediately get up, so of course it's not as sus, I guess necessary for me to change because if on the other hand I go into here I'm not gonna be able to travel really far at all fine fine then I guess to Nemausa and then here but I gotta uh, fuel us again when I go into here and of course it's not exactly a good thing for sure because we need to indeed get out of here as quickly as humanly possible because we don't want to be in this sort of a location so let's see that uh, em one almost gives enough so let's use two of that then we have enough for another jump which we need to be using immediately we also do need more fuel let's just use at least one to be a little bit more safe-ish and then otherwise try to leave here immediately and not stay in the uh, black hole area. Thank you very much. So almost able to get to the Sagittario place, but not quite. Well, low radiation, mostly rock planets. That seems okay of a place to go in. We could go into here. We can still get from there into here. This would have aluminium and iron as metals and send some other minerals, question mark. This mineral, no idea what it exactly is, but some sort of a mineral. We couldn't even travel there, so that's out of the question. So let's just go into here. At least there's low radiation. Uh, what was the money situation? Can we afford anything with the trader? Uh, at least radio signal booster is broken, so that's great. I have no idea again what that is doing to us. Fuel is crucial. Uh, find help. Ship and shine. Choose number of possible jumps. Autopilot efficiency. Reaction control system broken. Well, that's great. Mineral resource type unavail unavailable and structure and hazard scan unavailable. Yay. Structure and hazard scan unavailable is actually very bad if I can't know what's the hazards in the planet. That's actually not good at all. <sighs> Would need to be able to fix that up. Hmm. The lander is doing really pretty decently, I'd say, on the other hand. We don't have enough yet, so we would need to get some more EM. Uh, where did we actually see our money? Oh yeah, we got 576 credits, so we can get something. If we want. Um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> good, good that you take my word for it. Okay. This place actually has a really huge radiation, though. That does look very interesting, this thing. But yeah, that's too much of a radiation. Even though this is supposed to have small radiation, but I think I gotta just use one more of my EM. Oh, or does it work like that? Okay, I think I know why. Because we have the poor condition ship now so that has to be the reason why it's all the time happening that it's saying that yep this is radiation all of a sudden coming up and that's the only explanation i got for that anyways but i guess we'll go and at least have a look into this planet 
That's not good, though, to have that sort of a problem going on. Subtractic. Rock. Low gravity. Well, I guess I'll try to land here. For better or for worse. Uh, 576 credits, at least we can pay off any space muckers. <laughs> yeah, great. That's good. <sighs> we need stuff. Stuff, stuff. And we need to repair our ship. Okay, very low gravity for sure. Let's just try to get a little bit lower then, I guess. Slowly but surely. Yeah, considering we're falling down this slowly, it's definitely a low gravity. Okay, let's just see what sort of mineral we can get here. Unless we can fix the ship a little bit, I guess we did. Unless it's safe. <sighs> just get some at least. I think that's pretty much what we can get safely, but I'll see a little bit more. Yeah, that's starting to go into a point where it's not a very good idea in all honesty, so... I guess I won't. I was actually talking about the ripe red honey situation, <laughs> but I'll take your word too. Good. Good that you take all the words. Yeah, I'm worried. For sure. You don't want to know how bad the ship smells. Yeah, this is so great reporting life from hell. Quarter of the way home. But yeah, this is bad when it's all the time getting a little bit of radiation. So, it's not the sun, exactly. So, I'll try to get uh, some fuel from there, because definitely we would need some more of the EM fuel. The only problem is that I don't see how I can actually fix this exactly where I would need to be able to maybe fix it. I didn't even get any of that freaking fuel yet. And our fuel situation is going real freaking low, and I also do not like that. Let's go low. I just need a little bit more. Like, it's so close of having enough. Uh, oh, and life support is out of the fuel now, so now I just gotta... <sighs> gotta spend some stuff. Fine, I won't get that here. I'm not sure if I can... Can get any of the stuff that I would need. I can get some more fuel, which is fine. I would prefer not to get more because I would like to be going and refueling in the station, and we need to have some in case of emergency. I'd say we could be fixing though. Uh, no, this actually would have revealed EM. Damn it! I used the wrong thing. Well, at least we have some more that will reveal EM, so I guess that's fineish. Not perfect, but fine is. Okay, let's get out of here. Hopefully that is. Hull and fuel warning, everything warning, warning, warning. <sighs> well, unless we're getting here finally again, so... That's something. Now then, just to try to remember what the freaking hell... Was anyways the place that I needed to get into. Uh, I guess I'll try to get some more EM from this star now that we're anyways going kind of around this. It was either this planet. I think it was this planet I was trying to get into that was too hot. I think it was, but I'm not sure anymore. I don't remember well enough if it was exactly that planet or not. Trying to save a little bit of fuel. And not maneuver too much, so to speak. Of course you got anxiety. Why wouldn't you get some anxiety? And now we are out of fuel again. So I need to refuel. A little bit at least. Going really close to the very poor situation. At least I can get some more in there. But uh, yeah. Otherwise this isn't, isn't good regardless. Trying to save fuel, not going too fast. And just trying to get into that planet first, and then from there we would try to get in that uh, station where we should be at least able to fuel or refuel the fuel situation. 
I would get excited drifting that close to the sun. <laughs> I understand, but on the other hand, it's kind of like, it's, it's a little bit difficult situation, like... I would really prefer you not to go and get that. Would be a lot easier for me, anyways. Slowly going forward. <laughs> that, I think the cloaks know we can hear them when they do this thing. I don't know. What thing are you exactly talking or referring to is, I guess, the question. Okay. I think this was the planet, though. This looks like the hot planet, to me at least. Yeah, gravity extreme, temperature, violent, temperate. Not sure about that, actually. That's a malfunction, so I don't know anymore, was it this planet? Or was it one of the other planets? Ugh, I hate the fact that I don't know anymore. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder, was it this place or not? So, I do have a little bit of platinum. I think I have to fix at least the lander bay a little bit, and then I guess repair the ship itself a little bit. Well, I guess I'll save that just a little bit more, though. We can use an EM refinery this, though, if we're going down here. Hmm, that would seem a little bit base to use at the moment. This, I don't know if this looks exactly like the correct place, though. Hopperskuppen. Mm. You're so damn close to the sun. You have one hell of a ship if it <laughs> if it can survive that. Yeah, totally. It's a good ship. Gosh darn it, should almost have pen and paper to remember things. Yeah. And I don't think I can actually see from here. In anywhere where exactly that one place was anymore. When it's been too long, then you don't remember, and it's really kind of annoying when you can't remember exactly where it would have been. I know it was here on this system, but which of these big planets? And I remember it was one of these big planets, but which one? Was it right this one? I think it looked even worse temperature though than it was extreme temperatures. It wasn't this, I think. Because this is just temperate temperatures. It can't be this one, I'd say. Yeah, because it's it's a cast planet. It's not like you can actually land in the air. So it's not this one. Sure, I could get cases in here, but I don't think I can exactly risk that right now. Then it's the question, is it the one on the left side, or is it the one in the middle of these planets? And I, that is something I cannot really know. I'm really worried about the fuel situation too. Maybe I should just... Even though it's kind of the waste of resources, I feel that I have to go into this place... First. And then we can look into that, and I guess I have to... Re use the last of our reserve fuel to be able to even get into there because I think that otherwise we are really in a dangerous situation in there we should be able to get some more fuel or refuel completely the fuel or full as it is and uh, after that we can then look into trying to get into that one planet which shouldn't be that one a uh, hell of a name that planet has <laughs> I googled it and it actually exists. That's nice actually that it does exist though. Hoppushkuppen. <laughs> it's a good thing that it exists. That they have actually gone the effort of having exactly the planets that do exist nonetheless. Uh, I'm trying to get into this place. There we go. That thing is rock of some kind. Okay. I'm not going to go to the gate yet, of course I do need to pay for it at some point, but first of all, to the space station. I guess I could pay for the gate too at the same time, of course. Not like it would be too big of an issue to do. Okay, hello you guys. If I re remember correctly, you like to, as a clerk, to try to do the bargains, so to speak, or bargaining with you guys. Ultimate journey through the stars. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, 
First of all, let's pay for the gate. Acknowledge, are you ready to transfer credits? 112 credits for that. I guess that was a good thing to look first because that's expensive. What if I said decline? Too bad, too bad. These gates do not keep themselves running. Fine. If I have to pay, pay 112 credits, I guess I have to. That's not good though. Restock. Fuel is a must. Exotic weather, not a must. But fuel, we were so out of it that that was absolutely a must. I would also love to get some repairs, but I would love to repair the components rather than those. Is there anything that would be able to repair any components? Hmm. I think these are all for the people. Not for the ship, though. Okay, Alien would propose such things you would again want to pay by in my uh, laptop. I can't accept that, sorry. Merchant. <sighs> Do you have anything to say about the Raksakt? Piratical scum! They stay out of our system, but no, our traders have the best cargoes. Also, tickest hull. We make them work, but still. Mm hmm. Ask about home. It would take many your earth flux to return to my own. Uh, what? They have no such things as flux? Uh, apologies, our transcom malfunctions again. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for that. From here? Oh, customer, if only try our main starboard, perhaps. Won't work, alrighty. What are you guys saying? <laughs> I really, I'll Google that too. It's sweet, it's not sure what it means though since I can't speak it. It's a giant from a story whose Finnish name is Hoperin Aja. <laughs> That's a strange name. No idea what it means either, it just sounds unmistakable, unmistakably Swedish, yeah. Hoperin Aja. That's a weird name. Gotta say, goodbye. Well, at least the gate is open, we got still 400 credits, and at least we have the fuel. So, we don't have to worry about that immediately at least, so that's something. That's at least a positive. Let's go and see if it's this place. If it's not that, then we know it's this one. So, when this is closer, that's why we're going there first. Oh, I'm glad that there's... we have some fuel, though. Still can't believe it, I'm actually here, this is really happening. It really is, Zoe. It really is... quite happening. We'll make it, we will survive. Or will we? Or will we? It's my question sometimes. I did also, nonetheless, for the lander, buy this heat shield, so that will also protect us in uh, very hot uh, places. So minus 5% to heat damage protects lander and pilot while on high temperature planets. So we kind of got two things that can protect us on high temperature planets. I was considering it before and uh, I decided to now then at least get it. And then we had the aerodynamic compensators, which were 80% uh, protection from wind. So that's decent. It's just that our main ship is way too freaking broken in more than a one thing. Beautiful music, though. I could fall asleep to this. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't be the first one flame. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that quite a few have fallen asleep in the streams with to this game. I can't. But after all, I have to be struggling with the controls of managing to actually do what I'm trying to do with this, this ship, so it's kind of a different thing after all. Too, too much speed still. <sighs> Gravity very high, it's not this one. Temperature isn't correct for sure. I'm not sure what that mineral is either. I just I'm pretty sure that I otherwise visited in all of these places where we tried to visit. So I don't think there's anything that I really need to need to do here. What are you doing on shift? Go lie down for God's sake, sleep. Oh. 
is trying to be a motivational speaker, so I'm pretty sure it has to be that planet in the middle of all of those places. I hope that's correct, because otherwise, I'm not sure what place it would be. I'm sure you wouldn't be, yeah, the very first one. Okay. It could be this place too, I guess. It's not that small, but it's one here nonetheless, for sure. Freaking A, going way too far. I guess it's because that's the big one after all, because these are all so small. God damn it. Wasting fuel. Sure, I could buy even more fuel, but I really don't want to buy even more fuel. Just get into that planet, the big one, I would think still, and it was one of the bigger ones. Okay, let's hope it was this one, and not something else. It's definitely one relatively red-looking planet, so it's definitely a possibility. Okay, yeah, searing temperature, this has to be it. So, extreme gravity too, so yeah, there's the, the thing in here for sure. Uh, let's see, did we have everything we needed, as in, was Lander in good enough of a repair? Lander hull is 66%, I think it could be a little bit better, even, but I'm not gonna use this if it repairs it too much, yeah. Okay, well, I hope I can do this, if I can't, then, then, well, I guess we'll see. Oh god, I just wanna be able to visit in that stupid ruins when we saw it. This is a death mission. Yep, there it is, in that little freaking big structure. Too much of a gravity. Oh, way too much of a gravity. Not going too high. At least we have the heat shield now, so that should help us definitely nonetheless in here. The gravity is more of a problem, and then we just need to get into these freaking ruins. I at least also hope that we can go and try to explore it the second time. Even if first time it wouldn't have been able to succeed. Ow. Uh, visit. Visit with this button. There's a radioactive front coming in. Too hot for our suits. Looks like we've missed our chance of this world. Ah, that sucks. When it's actually not possible to go anymore because you failed to do it first time. Eh, uh, that's annoying. <sighs> Fine, not gonna do it then. We're gonna be leaving. Yeah, for sure, but I think Mass Effect and this game have similar inspirations. Mm. <laughs> I don't want you to think that I do not appreciate the game. Well, I'm glad. Um, plus, the full flying around planets in different galaxies reminds me of the previously discussed Mass Effect. Yeah, sure. Um, and yeah, I wasn't thinking that, but I know that this isn't something that everyone would like to watch. And um, it does have repetition, though, for sure. So... Whenever we die next time, I don't think that I will start at least immediately another try. I think that will be enough for for this game at, the t at that moment. We got plenty of games we can play. So, however far I will make this time, we'll see. At least we've made cuter than we did before, so... It's okay-ish in that sense. But it is nice music, though. Surely. Let's just go into the gate. At least we can travel one more world or sector star system forward, which is at least a good thing. For sure, Wiz. So much urk. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my uh, way. Yep. Well, he has some issues. I don't want to buy more fuel. I wish that I could buy some fuel to reserve. But uh, I can't exactly do that either, which is a shame. And I'm not gonna spend more fuel to exactly try to steer us when we are already going straight into this location, so... Trying to save whatever fuel we can. Anyways, I just realized that I didn't actually see all of the last stream of this, so it's just... 
it's not just my memory that's failing me. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that you might not have watched, but I haven't actually uploaded it even into YouTube yet because I was thinking that I need to uh, cut a little bit out because there was some issues in that one moment. Oh, let's travel with the gate nonetheless so we can actually finally get out of this area. And I defeated some bandits, got money from that. So hey, at least I got one quest done here. At the time. We'll see how close to home we will be after this. I didn't mean to mess with you, Flame. I was just joking about myself falling asleep on stream. Yeah. Maybe you just don't remember that you watched it. Okay, so we got into here. Ah, uh, I wonder what this ship is that is coming to us. Will it kill us? What are you? I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of any new ships. Yeah. Hello to you too. Okay, it's just a cloaked reclaimer. That's kind of fine. Uh, Cloaked Reclaimer. Welcome to Kukkata Trade Alliance Space. You have been selected for a random customs and contraband screening. Your cooperation is expected. <sighs> what customs and contraband? I wonder. Are you taking my credits? Fine. Scanning. Contraband detected. <sighs> Dreamweaver. I should have used it before then when he wants to be taking it as a contraband. How would I know that it's a contrabanded substance that I cannot bring into here? Do freaking tell. What if I will go into here and use it? Uh, well, I guess I can't really use it for anyone. Fine, take it then, stupid freaking give. Uh, scan complete. No customs violations or remaining contraband discovered. Thank you, customer. Have a profitable day. Uh, <laughs> I've done it a bunch of times. I hit the enter accidentally. Mm. Don't worry about it. It's all in good fun. Messing around with people on stream is part of the charm. Yes, definitely is. Definitely is. And I sometimes, you guys mess with me and I sometimes mess with you guys. So it's all good fun. Work. Try our star bases. Yeah, fine. <sighs> Do we have any gossip? Be fair, opportunists. Only cloaked reclaimers have authority to collect debts and seize of property on behalf of the Kukata Trade Alliance. Fine. What about you? We, reclaimers, both protect cloaked and enforce good commercial practice. To make a bad deal? Just business. To lie, steal, and deceive? That is bad for business. Fine. Goodbye. Stay legal or stay clever. Okay, one or the other. Both are fine by you. As long as it's one or the other. Can you still in this game? We should get revenge. Well, I could at least go and try to battle them, but I'm not sure if I want to do this. Is there actually a space station here? Or is it just a gate, is my question, kinda. Because if there's actually a space station, I would like to go and visit there, possibly. But as us, considering there's a gate, I guess there's not going to be anything interesting. But I'll at least go and visit here quickly. Check to check. Yeah. Would be nice to get revenge. Are you ready to take the ultimate journey through the stars? Not through that thing. Uh, let's at least have a look if you have something else I would like to get. A sauce ship would be very useful at the moment, but in the sense it just feels like I, I don't want to be using the money for that. Uh, I could stock on the fuel, but no, 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 I don't want that. No, decline. Yeah, no, ne definitely not. Eh. Don't want to do that. What about in the shop? Uh, activate to reveal interesting location. Everything a scavenger needs to harvest wrecks and ruins. We didn't have a salvage kit anymore, I'm pretty sure. Fine, I'll buy one salvage kit. I'm, I kind of want to buy something. So sure, I'll buy that. Goodbye. <sighs> 
He's a bit of part back there. He really is, for sure. They are kind of like that, aren't they? Gate is totally fine to be locked because I don't want to go there anyways. Let's try to go and visit this planet, I guess, and see if I can maybe get something nice somewhere in here. Before we again leave to some other location. There is this one planet which we can at least try to go and visit. Damage report reminder, Otto Harkins analyzer broken. Yeah, I do understand that. We will make it, we will survive, but maybe not. Like our quest here still says, we will make it, we will survive. But will be. I kind of don't trust it when we are so freaking broken the full time, but uh, of course it's a possibility. I just slow down the speed a little bit so we can actually go into here. Okay. Gravity is high, service type rock. There is at least metals, iron to fix our ship, so I guess I'll try to go and land. Mm, what is this? Is this alien version of America's Got Talent or something? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they have got going on in there. Maybe we don't even wanna know. Uh, slowly going down. It's not quite slow. <laughs> it's like... Slowly trying to go down, but uh, not quite working very efficiently, I'd say. Just try to get here. Good. Now we can get at least a little bit of iron. Uh, not sure if I can really risk getting more. I guess I can try to get just one more, but no. It's just gonna get us broken all the way if I do that. Okay, well, we got some, some iron to fix our ships a little bit. And also, I got more lantern damage because we just crashed down completely. Well, you have survived so far, I guess, mission completed. Well, so far, so far. But uh, there's a long way to go still, I'd say. It's the issue there. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll fix the lander. You have to be concerned about that too, though. So that is for the EM, and this is for the EM. Let's travel forward then. Not sure where we're exactly gonna be going, but someplace or another. Let's just head off. And yes, Tomac, Tomac is suffering for you. So, this seems to be a pretty big area. So there's this guy we, we are actually in a pretty good alliance with. They have places here. This is... I don't recognize the symbol, actually. Um, I'm not sure who owned this sort of space areas. But we are 24,655 parses away from Earth. So it's kind of a long way to go, I'd say. Hmm... Tuulikki. There's Tuulikki. I almost am tempted to go and visit in Tuulikki, but uh, just Bengala is also an interesting name, but Tuulikki is actually a female name in Finnish, so it's. Uh, Katu Hikoi Keda. Katu Hikoi Hikoi Keda. It's also a very interesting name. It's a lot of interesting names. Proxima Centauri. I mean, also thinking about going into here, there's at least Heliums and Sus, which would be interesting enough. Xenon, rare cast material. Probably would also be difficult to get, though. K to Cat's Eye Nebula. I don't think we're gonna be going in that way, though. Seems like it would be into the wrong direction. Maybe not. Do you guys want to go into Cat's Eye Nebula? Tuliki, cute name, too. <laughs> yeah. Some yummy fuel. <laughs> to my eyes to see if maybe we actually have a fuel. Have fuel, yes. We have some fuel still. For the moment, that is. Synthesis. 
Imagine if NASA was launching spaceships with the mission description of just survive and do whatever. Well, as such, there was different plan, but then there was some sort of a disturbance which launched us all the way on the other side of the freaking galaxy. And then we are kind of left on our own because we don't even know where we were. So, of course, it's a little bit different when something goes completely wrong, then you probably just try to survive. If something went really badly wrong. You found yourself in a completely different system than you were at. Or were supposed to be at. <sighs> Tulik has very little resources. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. The space station there. Yeah, let's go into here. Oh yeah, it's fair. That's a bit different. Yeah. I'm kind of interested about going into a cat's eye nipple up, but... Well, there is again the merchants and restocks and so on, but uh, shop. Merchant, restock, repair, ship, shipyard. Oh, there's even the shipyard. Definitely we will want to go into here, even for just that reason, because there's even the shipyard and everything there. So I think this will be a good choice for us. Don't disturb me, my calculations are more complex than you can possibly imagine. There's a lot of stuff going on around here anyway, so that will be interesting to go and visit that. Is that actually also a planet all the way down there? Huh, interesting. That's far though. I'm almost tempted to try to go and pick up some more EM fuel from the sun, but... Uh, I don't know about that. Let's go into the asteroid field first, I think. Asteroid field. Can someone tell me what is that face looking thing? <laughs> Tulik is the poor for us, yes. I guess we'll appreciate Tulik from a distance, yes. Very much so. What is that face looking thing? Face looking thing. I'm like trying to think what... What are you exactly referring to? Face looking thing. From the map, I guess. One of those pictures would have looked like a face. Well, there is definitely at least a lot of different space races, but not sure. Okay, so here, again, I gotta remember how exactly to do stuff, but so I am activating the weapon systems. Then we wanna go into this white area so we can get the resources from the asteroid there. So that way. We shall be heading in. But not please crashing into those. Or that. There's definitely only one resource here. Hey, that's that's the thing that we were looking for. Okay. Broke it down. It's looking that that's coming a little bit too close for comfort. There's still one resource there. And it's a bad platinum actually, so it's really good resources too for fixing ship. So that's actually going to be perfect for actually fixing our poor little ship a little bit. Good. We got some more platinum. Then let's get out of this system. Somewhere else, or asteroid field more so. Uh, when you were looking through the planets or galaxies, there was a bunch of minerals or something listed, and one of those things looks like a face to me, I can't tell. Yeah, I think that one of them did look like a face to me too, but it's just that I don't actually remember what it meant. Like, the asteroid field is the one with the just rocks, then there's those different type of planets, then that's the star base. A lot of these are just about different planets. The yellow dwarf, of course, there's the star on the left first, and there's the, I guess those two blue big ones are gas planets, then there's the other type of planets, then the star base is that violet, or violet things are, anyways, purple things are the interesting parts, specifically. Maybe it's one of those planets that looks like a... Uh, for example, here. Hmm. I guess it's one of those planets. It's my assumption anyways. That it's the one of the planet types that looks like a... Like a face. 
and the, the, the purple there is the gate. Going through the gate specifically. You can't get all the way there if I wish next. Hmm. Or we could go up there. And that last one looks like a face. When you have a sun and a planet and then something purple. Uh, yeah. Then something else. Then that green thing. And that last one looks like a face. Okay. Oh, I see it too. Okay, you're not completely insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it looks like a face too. If you look into it that way. It's like a... It's... The one there, most on the right, there's like a mouth and then two eyes. I can see it. I can see it for sure. Definitely. But yeah, it's one of the planets, I think. At least from my understanding. Not sure what it exactly means, but yeah, planet, some type. <laughs> Can't really, I don't know more about it. Let's go and visit then here, next to this planet. There's primitive probes everywhere. That green planet is probably the one. Hmm. I am trying to think. There's this blue planet, and I'm throwing up again. Uh, better get used to it, I guess. Yeah. You guys are all sick. That's absolutely sick. Let's just get into here then. Visit this planet. This is a gas giant for sure. So, there could be a lot of gases for us. But, uh, of course, it's. Not always the easiest to actually get that, but of course there would be nice fuels there for sure. Ah, lovely platinum though. I'm very happy to have this much platinum, of course. I probably should fix the lander a bit. I would also need to fix our own ship, but at least it's not going to be in combat at the moment. So that is refill EM and refill EM. Let's use the small amount, so that's also going to be a free to, for something else. But uh, I guess I should go and try to get some fuels from here, because gases are generally speaking for fuel. Different type of gases we can transform into fuel. Gas plant is just a little bit different, difficult or not the easiest nonetheless. I thought maybe they had some coast or some other spooky stuff in there. <laughs> well, it could make sense to... Okay, it's a planet, good to know. I think it's one though, that's a phase alright. Oh yeah, <laughs> for all we know, there might be ghosts. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we are ghosts. That's also a possibility. Maybe we already died and we are just ghosts now and we just don't get it yet. <sighs> Let's try to get some gas, as in uh, fuel, from here. It's just definitely not the easiest task to do here. At least it's this very thick region gas at the moment in his spot. I don't really feel fancy going down more because it's dangerous. I just like trying to wait if I can. No, that's at least not going to be coming to me. This helium is coming just perfectly though. Suspense spring fractured. Of course you have to be fracturing. Unless we got a little bit of helium. If I don't want to go more down, then I would need to go into this direction so we could get that fuel, whatever is coming from there, next. But there's these different layers, and there's on the other hand, it's dip there's too much pressure here too. Our hull is all the go time going really down. So I think I'll just get this, hopefully. Yeah, okay, I got that, and then we just gotta try to get out of here, that is. And I just hope that it will work out, because it's already going really low. I think it's okay now. Yeah, we got out of there, but uh, yeah, gas giants. Not really easy places to be in. A little bit. Um, <laughs> mind blown in outer space. Unless it was quiet, since it was in space or explosions didn't <laughs> wake anyone up. Yep. Might be considered. Mm, only let your mind be blown in space nowhere else, too. <laughs> I sure appreciate silent flow of a mind. Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's fix our lander again because, well, it's again pretty much dead, destroyed. And then at least we got a little bit fuel like this for emergency situations. 
It's not a lot, but it's at least something. The space station is right here, so we, let's go and visit there, see what's going to be up there, on the other hand. And what we could be fixing and everything. Hail. Ah, the humans. We have been instructed to offer you welcome. Do not wear it out. Try not to. I'm not sure if I'm happy to be these guys' friends, but... Well, it's better to be their friends than not to be their friends. Okay, where could I find the entrance to this location? Probably right in the... Would be quicker if I went from the other side, but whatever. Going from this side now. I'm not going to change that plan. I do wonder if I should buy some more fuel too, considering it's not like we have a huge amount of fuel or not even remotely close to fuel, full fuel. It's also when I'm saying full fuel and saying it twice. Yeah, I think the other way would have been the quickest way. Well, whatever. We're doing this now. Uh, actually, it's here, so I guess it's fine. So we can land into here and everything. This lady that we are seeing here and there has a nice shirt, yeah. A docking complete. <laughs> Do not tarry in our markets. Our customers are discerning types. Good to know. Do you happen to have any work for me more? We have nothing for you at the moment. Some other station may. Good to know. Let's have a look into the shipyard. Oh dear, what? There's so many things that one could even buy here. What is there? Provides faster boost cooldown. Eh. Provides better turn acceleration. Life support enchantment. Enchant system to keep life support running longer when out of fuel. Hmm. Subspace scanner. Provides increased jump distances. I would love that, but that's expensive as hell. 360, we can basically buy nothing more forever. But that would be good. Increased jump distance even more. Would be very nice. Additional tank allows for longer expeditions. So we would have one more of these to fill up. And then of course radiation shield would sound good. Reduces damage taken when flying close to stars. So many things that would be lovely to get. This would also be very good for just getting more this EM fuel for the jumps. Hmm, what do you guys say? I bid you welcome, don't wear it out. You immediately hang up. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, I know that uh, I I talk enough with these races here that I know that if I talk with them too long, they really will be getting mad and annoyed with me. So I prefer not to annoy them any more than I have to. I may ask one more thing from her, but uh, I try to indeed not wear them out about these things. I could also repair my broken parts, which would be great. Because there's the reaction control system is broken, ship scanners are broken, lander engines are broken. <sighs> As cells, at least in these two, it would fix two things at once, from what I understand, so that would be not the worst either. Oh god, so much stuff that I would love to be able to get, but I can't exactly, can I? Hmm. White bill and a personal shield. Clear. Is there anything else I could consider trying to sell? Hmm. I could try to sell some of the platinum, for example. It's pretty expensive stuff after all. Let's see if we can get any good deals, I guess. Not that one. Merchant. So you would offer 170 for the salvage kit, personal shield, a white pill, and a little bit of that for at us, but I'm not happy with that deal. Would you because on the other hand it's problem for me to okay, so you offer fifty for this white pill, but should I rather use it for someone? There is two people who are already like have two problems with them. 
Can't believe I'm out here, Kenz. You have metastasis and a fever. Fever, anxiety, nausea, and migraine. What did these things do? Well, I know that this can be used in some of the ruins. Personal shield if it is too hot. Not sure about this. You want the sphere? Yes. The laptop. That is a personal quest. We shouldn't sell it. Of course, we could maybe just... Just sell this. Maybe it's okay if I do. Uh, better not push them. They might start checking in for contraband. That too. Which is very scary. Maybe fixing, yes. The scanner would be nice, but we need to fix at least something, I think. I do think so too. Hey, 53 for the Porates. It is very good for the refill in the EM, but I think I will sell it. I think that we just need to try to get some more credits. Let's try a surprising pop again. We are chipped. <sighs> You would pay 83. I don't know if I want to sell part of those for 83. So now you would want the personal shield, white pill, some helium, and then two platinum for 140 bucks. Not sure if I could get a better deal or not. On the other hand, we really would like to be keeping these things, but... Maybe it's better that I sell this. As sus, in some sense, I'm more happier to sell this than the salvage kit. So, okay, fine. I'll sell all of this, even though I kind of hate it too, but... Fine. It's like a surprising pack and we're checked. Uh, talking about contraband, yeah. Papers, please, to my mind these days. Mm, I should play papers, please. 53 seems like not a lot of money. I feel like we're getting robbed a bit. I feel like it too, but it's a bit of a problem when I would really love to actually get some of these things done. And fixes. Because we haven't got any upgrades even for our ship yet. Which I do think is a problem. So, which one is the most important? Our ship hull is also just 11%. This, of course, would make our, at least, the lander unit perfectly fixed. Lander control fuel injection system, hull integrity, and pilot safety. Minus 10% to trust or reliability, plus 30% to impact damage. When the suspension spring is also fractured. I'm kind of, like, wondering, is this too bad? In some sense, I'm not thinking that Lander needs as much fixing necessarily. It's not good, but in some sense, I'm like feeling, oh, I don't know if I want to be going and doing that. But here, the reaction control system broken, ship scanner. It's kind of bad when two of these are also broken. It's so difficult to decide. <laughs> Glory to Art Suska. Mm. Papers, please. Is a surprisingly fun game. Played it recently. Ah, very, very recently even. I've seen a few playthroughs of Paper, please, and enjoyed it every time. I played a lot of the tutorial back in the... No, not tutorial. The trailer or the demo version first. But I didn't actually play that much than the original game when it came out because then I was thinking oh, I would like to do a let's play of it and all this sort of stuff or something. So I should play it at some point for sure. But uh, the first demo version when it was out, I played a lot. Yes, it was. it's a very good game nonetheless. Yes, demo version. I even have an older version of the game. <laughs> it still has this pretty vulgar Finnish name on it. Okay. Interesting. Mm. I do think that we should also get some sort of upgrade because we have we are really missing on those. That's not important. That's okay, but it's not necessary. That's also nice enough, but not necessary in my opinion. I lo love this, and I would love the radiation shield. I would love both of these things. This is very nice when we have longer distances go to go, and especially when we already have a ship, ship that travels a really long distance. This is pretty cool. 
but the radiation shield would also be really nice. Flying close to stars because we need to always get this stuff after all, so... And that's one of the parts where we easily get damage to our ship and damage it. So I'll get the radiation shield, I guess. Let's just get that thing. So we got at least one actually upgrade for this, then there's two more empty spots that we can use for something. <sighs> then it's just a question, what else do I want to do? I could still afford this, but then we pretty much can't fix anything more. And we do have a very low amount of money if we do get this. Hmm. The name has been bashed out a while ago. Okay. Not that I really would care if there would be a name like that or not, so. Um. Just don't know. Okay, do you guys want to say your opinion? Do we want to buy this thing and just go for broke, <laughs> so to speak? Uh, by the way, what do they have in here? A lot of stuff. Distress speaking. Or, as in go in for broke, as in go and get this, so we could get more upgrades, because we haven't been able to get any of the upgrades yet into our actual ship. Or, do we go and fix stuff? Which is also something we should do. So, it's one or the other, I think. Let's go broke, okay. Oh, who called that name? Yeah, it wasn't a smart one. Could have been more clever. Uh, I guess you guys could write it for me down too question mark or is it really that nasty of a name that you cannot mention it in here <laughs> okay anyone else going for broke other than Vicineco? it wasn't exactly subtle no <laughs> oh first we should fix something well but if we fix something then we can't afford this unless i sell something more that's the problem i don't Really want to buy, uh, sell that thing. No. I would love to sell other stuff, but I don't want to... Okay, one helium for three bucks. I would like to sell you this. I'm not just sure how much you would like to offer for it. Well, I got 30 credits for that. And that ship, the polar cream, and take it. I guess I could have there also said a little bit higher prices for some of them, but eh, it's fine. Now we could actually get that and still get one thing fixed and get the subspace scanner. Hmm. Guess we're going broke then. <laughs> Our ship is going broke. Yeah, that to Go for broke, okay. We are probably going to lose our ship, but eh, let's go broke. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's go with the scanner, okay. Let's go with the scatter. <laughs> sure. We have the subspace scanner, but as such, there is the fact that I have no idea when we would be able to get this next time. So, in a sense, when we got the money and it's, after all, a very good upgrade, maybe we needed to get it. We can't still afford something. We could fix our ship all the way up. We could... We could fix something else. I guess it would have to be, uh, but this is for the lander, so we could actually gather resources better. But I think it would really have to be our main bridge or main ship that we would need to uh, repair. So what does this exactly do as a problem? Model controls the planetary scanner array for detecting life forms, weather and resources. So mineral resource type unavailable, structure and hazard scan unavailable, which is kind of a very bad thing because then we don't know what we're actually sending our ship into, our lander, in a lot of ways. Then this would be reaction control system broken, minus 30% autopilot efficiency only. But that doesn't seem quite that bad. Apparently, the, we didn't actually get radiation randomly, it was just the radiation in that system was indeed random, because that star probably flared at times, so that's why it was such a random radiation in that area. In, this is kind of the annoying thing, when you can't know what is actually in a place. Hmm. <laughs> I'm happy with this choice for now. I'm sure we'll be fine. 
uh, and okay, the name is Papers, Please was Ripuli Paskana, which is just disappointing for a vulgar name. Yeah, that's, it is kind of dis disappointing for sure. It's definitely not, <sighs> not very, very, very subtle, as you said before, for sure. You can, well, diarrhea shit, basically, or is shit it, or shit waste? I don't know, something like that anyways, if we would translate it into English, so yeah, it's just like, um, yeah, not exactly that amazing, for sure. Uh, okay, what do we want? What thing do we fix? Do we fix the lander? Do we fix the scanner or ship engine? Which only has the one broken thing. I don't think this is worth it because it's just a little bit less efficient. But is it the ship scanner so we know what is going to be up the planet? Or is it the lander? Which one do we fix? Uh, I forgot about, forgot about that one. It's not the one I meant to. Ah, I don't know another one. Okay, Tayunta then. <laughs> what is the other one? <sighs> sure, we could also just fix our ship like this, the hull completely, and then we don't need to worry about getting the resources to fix it. Completely the question, which one do we prefer to try to do? Questions, questions, so many questions. Okay, that's interesting too, Tayunta. That's uh, that is a strange one. Strange, strange one. Then a couple of those type of names even. Hmm. Okay. So any opinions from you? I guess not. Okay. Uh, what do I want? Scanners or landing? I think scanners. Even though... In some sense, they don't exactly help, but on the other hand, then we can analyze and we know what we're getting into. Fine, I'll fix that. Uh, the only problem that I have is the fact that we have two little credits. And uh, yeah, that is kind of a problem. Wait, before you depart, here, take this for your journey. It is merely an uh, expedite your de departure, of course. To expedite your departure, of course. Do not think we grow fond of your company a ridiculous notion <laughs> they actually gave us an em tank that is nice that's so sweet of you i very much thank you for this <laughs> here take this for journey hey I i'm happy with this friendship mm, yeah i was a little uncomfortable typing that that's a bit more imaginative at least. It is more imaginative. <laughs> I can understand it was a little bit uncomfortable, but it's okay, Tayunta. <sighs> I asked for it after all. This meaningless battle. Spare us. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll spare you. I don't want to be getting you angry, so I shall not ask anything more when you're like that. Yes, yes. I suppose this could have been more unpleasant. Yes. It could have been more unpleasant. It is the funny thing that these guys actually could even buy one of your freaking crew members to be a slave. Which is like, <laughs> do you want to sell your crew member to be our slave? Um, it's going to be just fine of a, enough of an idea, isn't it? Okay, so I visited that planet. Let's go and visit in this couple still and have a look if there's anything interesting in this. And then... We're gonna visit in or travel elsewhere. I do have to be careful with our fuel because it's not like we have a huge amount of fuel left. For sure, though. Do have to be careful. Very, very careful. This is an interesting looking planet as sus, I gotta say. I like the look of it. Let's just uh, get on here. Uh, conviction is violent. We stand on the spores of greatness. Our choices here will decide if we are ready to sell the destiny. If you say so, mission forecast would be high risk. Surface type is liquid. And a gravity is high. Temperature temperate. 
I'm not sure this is worth it, unfortunately, to actually go into. Bit late for that, isn't it? I'll just get into here, thank you. Just wanna go into this direction and have a look into this little planet here. And after that, we're just gonna travel forward. And uh, hopefully not be completely out of fuel. Which I am kind of actually really worried about, but uh, yeah. Let's just try to land here. Hopefully successfully. And hopefully actually find something useful out of here, because our fuel, fuel situation is also way too low. Yeah, yeah, we could initiate... Initiate... Uh, conversations with them, so to speak, at least. I'll just land into here. Okay, so there's carbonates, but at least this seems to be a very harmless planet, so let's just go on ahead and try to be landing here right away. Um, for non-Finnish speakers, it's roughly translate as, yeah, like that. Not actually sure what that red dot is there, or red circle, but let's go into this first when we're right here. Very low gravity indeed, which makes it difficult for me to actually get where I wanna go. It's kind of nice, kind of bad. A little bit of boat. Oh, landing here. Get at least some of these resources though. Hmm, good idea to try to get one more. I would really like to get one more. That's one more. Okay, that's enough then. Like, the longer you go into the red there, the more damage you can possibly take, so that's the problem with that. And more possibility that something goes broke. So difficult to actually maneuver in such a low gravity very easily. It's a nice looking planet though. Otherwise... Nice musics and all. Peacefully traveling to this direction so we can actually land into here. I guess this is one of the places we can go and explore. Probably. Well, that's nice to find something to actually go and explore to. Maybe something that will actually be really useful. We'll see. Come on. Just a little bit into this direction. Okay, good. Visit. Let's see. Landed. Looks like this jump gate fell down here from orbit. It's badly battered from the fall, but looks like in working condition. Collect data. Yes. A quiet gate coordinates. Okay. At the location of some survey nodes or to our database. Can't see anything else to do here. Alrighty. Unfortunate that nothing more out of it, but something at least, I guess. Let's just get out of here then. Hmm. Hmm, it's possible that those are just the ones that are so bad that they removed them. Maybe there's better ones still in the game. One can hope, maybe. <laughs> Would need to be pretty desperate to sell your crew, yeah. Sorry, I had to take other viewers in consideration. Yeah, no worries. You can, you can do that. That is to say, though, that there was one you... Uruguay Masters, let's play where they got themselves into a situation that they needed to sell their crew to finish the game. Okay, <laughs> so it's very possible that this game might have similar things going for it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see, I guess. <sighs> we didn't have a huge amount of resources, but at least we got some minerals now. But this is also to refill EM. So it's a bit of a problem, I guess. I'll just use that right now. Then we can use that maybe a little bit. Well, I guess we're gonna be leaving from this area then next up. No need to stay here more. At least we got a couple of nice upgrades though, so that's at least a good thing. I'm just really worried about our fuel situation especially. Okay, so where to travel? We could from here try to get immediately out of this place. There is only that one little problem that I do kind of, if we can find any more asteroid fields, 
those are very good for very expensive resources. So considering our fuel situation too, it might be good. Plus, we have so little money that we couldn't probably even pay for the trip at the moment. We would have to get some resources or something in here to be able to actually even go into there. Few molten planets in this place. Mm. Mm. But yeah, that's interesting that you had to even sell your crew over there. Is there any asteroids fields anywhere? There's like one here, but that's too little. None there. No asteroids fields anywhere visible. I have no idea actually. No, I just happened to have the mouse right there. I was wondering why did that look so different? Hardware Deep Space Emporium. Hmm, interesting. Version shop shipyard deep space hardware emporium. So that's interesting as such. The only problem is I got no money. No money. Of course we probably can can sell something a little bit when we go into there. I guess it's still worth the most or best option. Unless we wanna go into that area. But I think this is probably the best direction to go in if we want to go and try to get back to Earth. Like these at least definitely don't really lead anywhere here, elsewhere. That might lead us forward, I'm not sure. This could also lead us forward, though I don't see anything in here. So, do you guys think that it would be a better option to try to go into here? To Monokeros or to Hyades, like Hyades, whatever. High radiation, mostly molten planets, does also sound a little bit risky. Or maybe we just can't really see where we should be going. Really, very efficiently anyways. <sighs> I'm kind of more inclined to go into there, because we can even travel into here immediately, when into here we would need two jumps to make it all the way there. But, uh, not sure. Not quite sure. It's just a question if we can find enough materials here and uh, to, because we need gas and we need to be able to pay for the trip with this freaking thing. So uh, that's the problem. Chigide, you're far away from home. We are indeed. You can see the distance in there. We're really far. We might have a good chance with Hades with our personal shield. Yeah, probably. But did we even have the personal shield anymore? Didn't I sell it when I was just trying to get money? I think I sold it. So I don't have a that, something like that. I have an EM tank, salvage kit, and that's pretty much it. So no personal shields anymore because I sold it. But hey, me and my Kona can, of course. Did you guys have fun with Los Goral in the Hero of the Storm? Hmm. Uh, I'll go in here, I guess. We'll see how that will go. No, honestly, I'm kind of afraid that will go badly, considering we have no freaking cash. But, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Let's go into here, then. And hope these planets will be fruitful for us. Hopefully. Then the gate is all the way on the other side. We just need to try to get... Well, to be honest, there's lots of stuff that we would need to try to get. Let's slowly go in forward first. Uh, did I create you already earlier? Well, hello anyway. Mm. Warning, warning. If we can get into Hades, if we can get to go and actually buy the stuff that we would really like to get into here, maybe then I can be saving and quitting for today, I'd say. But uh, let's see about this first. I think this is a gas planet, which is not very good. Yeah, deadly mission, cast and everything. Arctic temperature, gravity very high. <sighs> Which, considering our lander hull, isn't going to be working, I'd say. So we gotta go and have a look into the other places. Well, let's just try to get into one of these locations. Guess it's gonna be this one first, considering it's kind of right there. I'm just really worried about our fuel situation. 
Not just a little bit. Needs a slaver. Okay, now maybe can get into landing here. Yay, good. Or close enough, that is. Well, this is at least pretty safe, other than a little bit of earthquakes, earthquakes but, uh, eh, just silicates, but I guess that's better than nothing. Better than nothing. I'm just really worried because we really are in a bad situation in more than a few ways, I would have to say. So with earthquakes, it was just a case that you had to always... When this sort of earthquake sort of started, you had to get up from the land. Which is not necessarily the easiest thing to do. I'm not sure how you exactly recognize, by the way, when an earthquake is about to come up. Well, at the moment at least I don't want to then land yet. But it, then of course it immediately goes away when I try to get uh, get away from it. We're wasting fuel too if we do this all the time. Like I kind of feel that I have to wait until the next earthquake goes by. Okay, now land quickly, try to actually get some stuffs here quickly and then get out of here. One more, okay. Fine, Boar had the cool and level low so that I even got damage but I've got at least some little bit of resources. And so I guess it's fine-ish. It's better than nothing at least. Not great though. I don't even remember what the silicate exactly did. Was it just to repair our ship or what's the thing? So, silicates were for refilling EM too. We have so much stuff that can refill EM and nothing else. That's definitely not the best. I wonder what the other Daedalus ships will discover. Maybe they're out here already. Who knows? Who knows about that? Zoe. I do still think that I have to try to go and visit these other planets, even though I'm really worried about our fuel situation, because it's really low. Really, really low. <laughs> Trying to save what we can. Not move this too much all the time. Okay, this seems to be good for actually getting into here. The one planet on to the left at least seems very promising, so that's good too. So this is also very harmless, so definitely we will go into here. There's actually some gas here, so that's good. So emergency gas as in fuel. So that's perfect. That is going to be perfect for us, I'd say. planet was after all very much harmless so oh yeah I have to take it from the volcano which isn't exactly my preferred way to get this resource but specifically because this is the control is sometimes very annoying but hey I'm too high again ah, the control good some more helium can get quite a bit from here actually I'd say looks nice actually when the Sun is going down there like that no free container even anymore well hey we at least got plenty of helium so that's good for our fuel that's perfect that is perfect couldn't really in more than a few ways get more of that stuff anyways so that is perfect let's have a look so yeah, we got even a couple still in the lander cargo because no more can fit into here, which is totally fine. Let's just use this couple so that we don't have to have it in the lander cargo. I think that's also going to be better. Stop taking my cup. I insist whoever took my cup return my cup. <sighs> 
I gotta say, I don't like this guy that specifically much, but... Uh, let's just get into this planet then. Okay, this seems to be good. And then just end here. Uh, also very harmless. Some minerals, carbonates, that's fine. Let's just go and get some. And then we are ready to go into the station and see if we can actually get enough stuff, money, to actually buy our journey, or if we cannot. Probably we could also try to refill our, some of our fuel, uh, as in EM fuel, from the star. Probably. And probably anyways. Slow down a little bit. Just slowly but surely. How do you, how do you land like that? How do you not go and fall completely to the ground? Like I'm touching nothing now, and it's taking so long for it to actually <laughs> try to get into this freaking thing. <laughs> Now I only touched it because I was really getting bored of waiting for that. We can at least get three pieces. Okay, three pieces, gotten. Let's get out of here then. After that. Okay, well, at least we got some resources here. It is nice to see that gas planet there on the, on the background to assess when you visit on the planet and all. Okay, let's see. Then, what we had. So, this will also refill EM. So we have so many things that will refill EM. Nothing that will actually fix our ship, which is kind of bad. Okay, let's try to actually get some speed. So we could actually travel to these other sides. Uh, well, we accidentally went past that anyways. Sometimes I'm, fr I'm afraid to even communicate with those for a couple of reasons, really. Anyways, but yeah, there's one planet still before we need to go into the star phase, but... We'll see if there's anything useful there. Bro landing, thank you. It gets stuck by the tail. It takes serious skill. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Serious skill for sure. It's just a question. It's it was it good skill. I guess. I am worried about the fact that that's previously when we traveled. After all, it cost us freaking one hundred to travel into a new place. If it costs something like that here too, we're gonna be seriously in trouble for sure. Because we don't have the money for that whatsoever. Let's just slow down. Slow down. That's good. Good, good. Some minerals, carbonates, and silicates. Some earthquakes. Uh, structures, ruins. That's also nice to see that there's some ruins. Low risk, though. Some earthquakes isn't too bad. However, I do want to be able to get this stuff out of here, for example, then. Which refills this more? Uh, what was the stuff that you could get in this place anyway? So I guess it's the question. I can get silicates and carbonates, isn't that the case? <coughs> okay, so if we go into resources, we have some silicates and we have carbonates. So as such, it doesn't matter which one we use. Eh, let's use that. Maybe it can then just, yeah, it put those in here, which is good. <sighs> okay. And that is for the emergency cases, and yeah, I, we actually got a lot of carbonates now then. We got even those. Well, let's go, go get some nonetheless, and then definitely go into the ruins. Ruins especially, I'd say. Ruins especially is interesting to see. Maybe we'll actually get some money from there, <laughs> or something that is worth money. Maybe something that we can sell, or maybe some upgrade. Who knows? So, the ruins is all the way onto the right side. 
So as sus, I would say that's the most interesting thing to go into. Uh, actually, a little bit too much gravity right now. Ugh. Not exactly perfect. Let's just land here then, I guess. And get some resources in the meantime. Guess that's fine. Also, there was a little bit of an earthquake, so that's a little bit of a problem to our ship, I'd say. Our ship is actually in a pretty bad shape, which is a problem. <sighs> so that, on the other hand, would be silly guess. Let's get into this uh, ruins first, whatever it is. Because I'm too interested to get into there. And what if we otherwise get too damaged? That would be suck. Suck quite a bit if we could get would get too much damage otherwise. I'm just worried about an earthquake. Okay. Now's the time to go and visit this place if we can actually. Visit quickly. Another Jessica ruin. Every bit as radioactive as the last one. Okay, explore. We have to explore. I suppose we might find something in the lab. Uh. <laughs> Twisted beyond recognizable by time and radiation. Mutated corpse. Hey, do we want to take a mutated corpse? I think it probably might be worth some money. So, I guess there's that. It's a very badly mutated corpse. It has tentacles and a weird head and everything, so... Hey, I think that would be a good investment, right? To take a mutated corpse like this with us? I think it is. Don't you guys agree? Looks good. I do wonder how this guy even can think of actually taking this mutated corpse with him. Why not? Uh, <laughs> wouldn't you pay for this sort of a mutated corpse? Corporations certainly would want to be going and can't get picky now, right? <laughs> would want to pay for this. Take. Returning to lander, location left, good. Anyways, just in time, because then the earthquake came about. God damn it. That's the thing when you have to... Well, fine, let's go up. Injector nozzle clocked. I wonder what exactly damage that is. Just a little bit too much of a turn. And I tried to go and see if I could turn into the other direction. Well, at least we got that nonetheless. Just that... Our, both of our ships are completely freaking damaged. <sighs> Mission notes, Benoit Vertier, a man of science and logic, only listens to rations. Ra Russian. Rations. The reason, you know, typical Sagittarius. Typical Sagittarius, eh? Just like me. Me being a Sagittarius too. So, uh, twisted beyond recogn recognizability by time and radiation. Mm. There's enough biomatter here for the ship's sensors to track. Yeah, I don't want to waste it for that. I think... I think we should try to sell it. If I can, that is. If I can't, that's another thing. Uh, um, maybe I'm going to say it might be a bit of a gamble. You're talking to a pile of chicks. Of course we will take it. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, let's go to the station and see how much the freaking gate would cost. Because that's the that's the going to be the issue, I'd say. How much will the cost be? And if I could get even the fuel, that would be perfect. But I have a bad feeling about this. If I could say so. At least this is the Ilicha we are friends with. So maybe they will be merciful and it will not cost a huge freaking amount of money. Maybe. Maybe with some luck. So, we'll see. Hail. Hey there. Ah, the humans. We have been instructed to offer you welcome. Do not wear it out. As always, we shall not, of course. How would... How could we ever do such a thing? Ever. Did we actually see somewhere very well uh, what sort of relationship we had with each of these aliens? Here we can actually see it. So, 
<laughs> elites are our Grachin allies. <laughs> Grachin allies, which is very strange. Clucked, we are just clients and reef pioneers. Ruxart, for the Ruxart, we are prey. <sighs> so that's good. That's very good. Let's just get into here and see how ghostly this will be. I hope that as we are crunching our lives, you will be nice to us, but we'll see if you will be or not. They definitely don't have a lot of resources, though. That's a fact. Oh dear, the little human ship. For once, it will be a pleasure to uh, assist you. Yes, anything to get you as far away as possible. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. How much is the gate? The carpet skull, which is transport. Ha, <laughs> we suspect it will be beyond your means. Yeah, it's a little bit too much money at the moment. Stay, go, just do not wait here. <sighs> so, uh, merchant is our only hope. He would buy all of this stuff for, stuff for 93 bucks. I have to try to see about this stuff. So you would pay 7 for 1 garbonate, okay. What about, I wonder how much you would like to pay for the mutated corpse. That's like my question and I wonder if I offer you too bad of a deal, how mad will you be? That's also partially my question here. So salvage kit I don't think is something I want to sell. I would want to sell some of the other stuff rather. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I can sell some carbonate, but just selling some carbonate is not going to be enough. As said before, selling some carbonate will not be enough. He's just completely all the time asking for that carbonate stuff and nothing else. Like, I would like to know how much he would offer alone for the mutated corpse. That's what I'm, like, hoping for. But, uh... But the but, uh... I don't want to sell that. Ugh. Are you some kind of a moderator or something, Tayunta? Yeah, Tayunta is a moderator. Almost everyone here is a moderator because I've given them a moderator rights, but it's not like they actually need to do any job for that. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well... I guess I could try to sell this stuff. I can only offer something like this. I, I'll see if they will be okay paying 10 per one. Okay, trade goods. Ah, acceptable arrangement. Take it. Okay, we got a little bit money. We could sell all, all of the carbonate as sauce. It's okay, we do. We have enough. So... We can actually travel, barely, with that. However, I would also love to restock on the fuel, because we don't have a huge amount of it. And that will be 30 bucks too. So I would want to have 80 plus 30 bucks, so 110 at the minimal. Well, a little bit more, because the gate costs 80 something. Yeah, 81. So... Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. So, how much would I be okay to sell? As soon as I guess we can even sell all of it. I wonder if it would be okay if I would ask for 70. 60 was okay, but would 70 be okay? That's the question. Nope. Uh... Let's then say that we will, oops, give it for 60. It's still better than the what they offered just a moment ago, and that will be okay at least. So we got 105, which is very close to being enough. Just the question, how much would they offer for this damnable thing, this mutation? Even though I would like to keep it, but <laughs> kitty, I need more. I will get it then a little bit. Well. 
How did I do it again? I guess I can do it quickly here if I just... Uh, was it like this? Well, I did it now anyways. You can be a mod. I have no manners and need to be punished sometimes. Uh, I need to kick myself every once in a while. Yeah, okay, my account. That's, that's good. Ah, uh, you got that right now. You got that right for yourself. <laughs> okay. Even if Tayunda could do it too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, would you be okay to pay 50 for this? I don't know. Like, I, just, I wanna be getting enough for it. Okay. Didn't like the deal, but did pay the 60. So definitely wasn't happy with that. Like this, I guess you can immediately say that this is like something that they like, but they don't exactly like the ones that are with white. These sort of deals. I could assume, but at least... No, actually, yeah, he didn't like that deal at all. Okay, fine enough. 30 bucks. Okay. You really don't want this mutated corpse. 20 bucks? <sighs> Why must you be like this to me? I just want to sell it to you. What about... I wonder... As soon as I don't have to have the EM tank, I'll rather keep the solvents kit. So maybe if I'll sell the EM kit? I wonder how much that would be value to you guys. 50? Fine. No, he doesn't want to do anything anymore. Enough, take your worthless bubbles and depart. He just doesn't want to do any more deals. At all. Ugh, I angered them. That's annoying, because I could be so close to getting the, the gate plus fuel. But no. Ah, this suspect will be beyond your means. Well, we can afford this. I guess I will. But the problem is we really don't have a lot for this. Credits received. Be on your way. We have an appointment with the hot mud bat and our three most imaginative gongabines. Yes, great. Uh, what uh, is happening? This. Mm, so he took it, but it's still mad. Yeah, didn't take it. Can't believe they bought the corpse. They didn't. Oh no, I was wrong. Yeah. What is that game ever, even? <laughs> this is a uh, long journey home. I think that alien had enough of you. He's mad. It's not a Steam game. It is on Steam. Yeah. He or she. Oh, uh, could you join them in the bat? It sounds interesting, no? I think they would be okay with it if you want to go to be their slave. So... If you want to be the slave, I think they could accept that then. <sighs> Anyways, okay, I don't think I can do much else. The only problem is the fuel, or that is the biggest problem to me. Wait, before you depart, here, take this for a journey. It is merely to expedite your departure, of course. Do not think we grow fond of your company. A ridiculous notion. Well, thanks for another EM tank. At least we have lots of EM tanks. I just put, like, fuel. Ready to receive. Be on your way. We have an appointment. Yes, bye. Goodbye. Yes, yes. We suppose this could have been more unpleasant. Barely, maybe. Mudbass, my favorite. <laughs> well, we are able to travel, but our fuel situation is really not good, I'd say. It's definitely not... Optimal, I'd say. But yeah, this is there. I got this from Humble Bundle uh, at one point for the, well, you know, Dead Leon games for 10 bucks. So I got it for very cheap. So that's how I got into this game or then trying out this one. My god. So, traveling for it. Hey, we are getting closer to Earth. Now only 17,000 paces away. We've traveled quite a bit in that sense. It's just that... 
This system doesn't seem to be the most favorable considering the radiation. Let's go and visit here. Maybe this uh, station would like to buy on this side something from us, rather. Maybe, with good luck. Maybe with good luck. <sighs> Let's see. Otherwise, I think we will be ending here for today and then continue next time. At least we made it a little bit forward. Oh dear. The little human ship for once. It will be a pleasure to assist you. Yes, anything to get you as far away as possible. Do you have any gossip? And they say that the radiation level on Yasuka and Ruiz is finally low enough for exploration and plunder. We wonder how large the market will be for artifacts that still glow in the dark. I don't know. At least you guys didn't, or the previous place, they do not want my body. Or the body thingy. So is this the only thing that he would be interested in? Seriously? Because I don't want to sell that. I want to sell something else. Please. I want to sell something else than that. Hey, now at least it's asking also for this EM tank. Um, so 49 overall together from this. So this is a little bit over 20 or so word. Maybe if I can say ask 30 for one. Okay, thank you for buying it. Ah, oh, trade goods transferred. An acceptable arrangement. Take it. Take it or leave it. Okay, then, please. I want to not go into there, but rather to stock some fuel. Thank you kindly. Yay. Uh, this actually went pretty well. You did not want my body. Well, well <laughs> the mutated body, that is. They seem so cunning. Are we going there? <laughs> yeah, well, I did say it like that after all, but it's very accurate. They don't want the mud body, so they they offer for it now, but they don't offer very much for it. So this was a little bit over 20. They were okay paying 30 for this. So this is like, I don't know how much this is actually worth for them. I probably should just scan it and be done with it like that, considering this... I, I can't get much money out of it anyways. 20, 20, maybe barely to 30, but I tried to ask for 60 before, so that's why they got angry in the other place. <laughs> well, you have a services on, a services option too. By the way, what is that corpse for off? I don't know. I have no idea, you know, so yeah, I, I can't answer. <laughs> We don't know if wrap, personal shields, distress beacons, regenerative implants, all sort of stuff that we totally cannot afford. So, that's good. And then, of course, the repairs. If only I could afford something, it would be great if I could repair this hull, but I can't. <sighs> can't. Well... I guess I shall be leaving you. Goodbye. Wait. Here, take this in the journey. It is merely to expedite your journey. Well, thank you again. They always want to give me the EM tanks, so hey, at least it's nice to have them as allies. They want to always get rid of me. Yeah, just go go have the mud, mud, mud pad as well. Bye-bye, Elitsa. Yes, yes, we suppose this could have been more unpleasant. Maybe. Barely. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Kind of pretty, actually, that corpse. Yeah, it is kind of nice looking. It's weird, but it is nice looking, sort of, for a corpse. Mutated corpse. It's very strange. So we could do long-range scan. There's enough biomatter here for the ship sensors to track. If you want to try to find this location, but of course... If it's somewhere completely in a wrong this direction, I'm not sure I would want to be going in there. But, uh, yeah. Not sure about that. But anyways, I do think this is an okay place to be stopping for today. We played quite a bit forward in this too, and actually, if you're still alive, uh, we used to be almost 30,000 paces away 
from our destination in Earth, and now we're only 17,000 distance away. So hey, that's a pretty decent process in that. And we have full fuel. We're, our ship is almost destroyed, but you know, otherwise good. <laughs> Hard to say what that Scorps mutation is either, but yeah, I enjoyed the stream as usual. I I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I think it's a its mutation is dead. Well, that's that's a crit too. <laughs> but if you can decide about it then next time. It does have a lot of tentacles with it, so if we would wanna be going into there when they didn't want the body, then maybe they are not very much into tentacles. That's one option. Anyways. I think that's enough for today about this game's or overall stream. So thank you everyone for watching here on the Twitch streams and uh, later on in YouTube as well. And uh, thank you very kindly. And I hope all of you enjoyed. Good night, sweet dreams. And I shall be stopping the recording here. So see you next time then for more and see if we can actually somehow make it to Earth because it doesn't look promising at the moment. So bye bye until then. Okay, I stopped the recording and then we can just be going and actually quitting for today. <sighs> but yeah, it's a mutation. You